Today on Fun King Garage, I'm diving back into the fuel system on the Fummins project. And hopefully today, I can get it wrapped up. Welcome to the channel, and whether you're new here or a returning viewer, I want to say that I appreciate you watching. Now, this truck needs fuel to get going, so I better get going to get it going. Okay, that's enough. I could show you the whole process that I went through to reinstall that tank, but I'm not going to. Was it fun? No. Was it exciting? No, not at all. Was it more graceful than when the tank came out? Probably, but it doesn't matter. It's just reinstalling a fuel tank. The problem really is that there wasn't a lot of room around there. I couldn't get the camera in to show you anyway. It would have just been bad camera angles. So let's just chalk that up to being done, know the tank is in there, and let's move on to the more fun stuff. Starting at the high pressure fuel pump, the first fitting that I'm using here is actually a metric to AN adapter. And that's going to allow me to tie an AN8 into the high pressure fuel pump without using any banjo fittings. From there, I immediately went into a 90 to try to keep the hose in a factory location and out of the way. Out of the 90, I'm using a straight through connector that's actually drilled and tapped for an eighth inch NPT so I can put a fuel pressure sender in there to monitor fuel pressure as close to the high pressure fuel pump as possible. And then, of course, at the end of that is the push lock fitting. Oh, pin diesel on the floor again. For the return side, I'm actually able to use a spring lock fitting. It's also known as an EFI adapter, but it just pushes and locks on there like the factory hose did and that is adapted over to an AN6. Now I'm using an AN6 push lock connector, which will tie into a piece of 3 8 hose. And again, this is the return side, so it's not as large as the feed side. I was never really sure about these push lock fittings and this push lock hose, but after I've used it now, it is absolutely magnificent and a joy to use. This is my half inch feed. 
and I just need to figure out a good way to route it so that it doesn't kink or obviously rub on anything or touch anything hot. As I'm building this, I'm only putting everything finger tight, so I'll be sure to come back and properly torque everything down. These rubber cushion stainless steel cable clamps work really well for this. I'm using a smaller size to go around the factory hard line and then I believe this is a 7 8 for around the half inch hose. M6 bolt with a nut on the back and it's secured. With the engine side back to the lift pump all mocked up, it's now time to find a permanent home for that lift pump and get it mounted to the frame. Then I can finalize where all the hoses are going. Every time you see somebody use an ANY, it usually just hangs by the hoses. And I said, I don't want to do that. I'm going to build a bracket to mount the ANY. And so I fabricated up this aluminum bracket and mounted it to the air dog frame mount. works out really well and it holds that A and Y super secure. I think it's going to hold. I think it's going to work out. So the fuel system is finally complete. It was a lot of work. It was a lot of work and it was a lot of ordering parts, but I started with a beans diesel sump and I didn't want to do a sump, but because of the way the pickup was in this tank, I just found it to be better. So I started with the beans diesel sump, got my half inch line running into my air dog uh, lift pump. From there, it runs up to my engine. Uh, the return coming out of the engine and the return coming out of the pump runs through a Fregola ANY back into a single half inch line and back into the top of the tank. So I should have more than enough fuel to do what I need and I should be able to push more than enough fuel back into the tank when I don't need it. Wait a fun king minute! You said you didn't want the ANY just hanging by the hoses and you made a bracket for it. But yet in that last clip, the ANY was just hanging by the hoses. You're a hypocrite. Okay, 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 I know. I said I didn't want the Y hanging by the hoses. And I did go through the process of making the mounting plate and mounting the Y to it. And it turned out great. I was completely happy with it until it came time to route the hoses. And I realized there was no good routing with the Y where it was. I needed the Y to be moved forward of the lift pump but there was also no room there for the plate that I made. So after a few days of contemplation, that plate went into the scrap bin. And instead, I ended up mounting the Y by securing the hoses, which then in turn secured the Y. And speaking of secured, this has secured this episode of Fun King Garage. This has really been a fun part of this project. I've thoroughly enjoyed it. A lot of parts were bought. A lot of things were learned, but it turned out fantastic overall. Of course, now we have to wait till the end to see if it all works correctly. Now, I'm going to link these parts down in the description, but if I miss something and there was a piece in there that you want to know about, 
leave a comment or reach out to me and I'll find you a part number for it. It took a little bit of figuring to get all the right parts. So you might as well use the knowledge that I have if you need it to. So now it's time for me to grab my tool bag, hit that road, and move on to finding my next adventure. Thanks for watching.